Hi guys and welcome to FX Market Strategy. We continue our weekly forecast. Uh, we start looking at the VSC Market Scanner, which is an amazing tool we do have on our website. You can download with a little bit of fees. How does it work? It will give you right here at that meter the currencies indexes. Uh, so like Euro, Dollar, Bound, Franc, Australian, Japanese, New Zealand, Canadian. Bottom right here is going to give you the strengths of each one of them. So right now, I is giving Australia and New Zealand. We know the market's closed. Australia and New Zealand are really weak. Dollar was really strong. Okay, so you were thinking about shorting the Australian again is the dollar, uh, but you just don't do it like this. After you check that, we also have at the left side here is going to give you these currencies, euro bound, and all these currencies is going to give you the buying power, the selling power, the delta, which is the difference between both of them, and the signal. Okay. At the right side here is going to give you also the indexes with another measurement. At the right here is going to give you s signals. It's going to give you the signal. So if Australian USD is a sell, it's going to give you a sell. After you check this strength right here, you would come to the currency itself. Let's say the dollar index. Then you will go to a smaller time frame. Let's say you trade the 15 minute or a one hour time frame. Then you're going to go there. You find at that time when the dollar is strong, uh, then you take this buy okay so you combine both of them together let's say right now after as a dollar did make such a big move to the upside would you go and you buy it here this is too late you don't buy after such a big move right just like this okay so the buy started right here you should be taking profit here okay so go on. you guys can download this from our website fx market strategy all trading systems and signals in one package it does cost 249 dollar per year discounted price and you get signals as well for it okay uh, so please uh, you guys are welcome to join a uh, dollar index i think you guys do remember from last week or the previous week we said the dollar need to kind of come to test this area you guys do remember this one and that one and we said it does need to come to check this trend line correct guys it did make a, a big abc formation just to make this a little bigger just like this and up wave a b c d after the a b c d completion it did work to be the same level right here it needed to come all the way up to test this level or that level okay it doesn't matter so from here we're gonna be looking to short it with price action just don't go short it because it's right here it may continue going up a little bit it may so wait to see a price action right here then once start coming back down we want to short it again another wave down here this wave could be like ending diagonal or something so we could be getting something uh, to look like uh, this guys okay just like this here and like this here and you start seeing the trend you know going up and down right here like here okay like just like this before it does go back up again okay next one we do have right here is the euro index uh, because the dollar was kind of safe heaven and japanese yen and chf so those will be getting a little bit of strength some of them uh, Australian, New Zealand, Canadian were beaten up so bad because they're risky currencies, especially the Australian and New Zealand. Euro unbound sits at the middle. So really they are not too risky, they are not safe heaven. So that's why you get this formation in the euro. So that's the explanation of why the euro was not either falling or going up. Okay, of course, again, the dollar is going to be falling because euro dollar is weighted in the dollar index. Euro dollar has nothing to do with this euro index. Euro dollar is just completely opposite of the dollar index. That's an info you guys you should put down. Okay, it's really good info. Uh, the next one uh, bound we did expect this uh, pound to do a correction if you guys do remember from the weekly forecast we said right there there was a channel okay and we needed to come to check the channel right and we said we don't buy the tops of the channel okay we only buy the laws of it every time it comes close to the law like this we want to buy it even the system is giving you a signal right here that was also a beautiful buy and also in the MACD you can see this was a beautiful signal going along goes our signal in the trading system upco trading system so upco trading system guys okay uh, it did come all the way down here it started giving you a buy that's amazing also this is indications the dollar index is gonna uh, see some weakness next week uh, possibly the bound start again in right here the bound start reversing so what's the scenario in the bound i think this may bounce just continue going straight it's another one option the second option is just gonna make a low but it's not going to break that one then from here is gonna be a beautiful buy okay just like this and this will be a good buy again it's something like the dollar japanese yen or chf okay bound index did have such a big run right here and that was a beautiful correction last week we did talk about this uh, one right there was expected okay next one chf 
uh, you guys you can see right here this is going uh, low right here okay we did talk about the chf coming down for the last two weeks you guys can check the forecast right here we need a correction to the upside so this may come down a little bit something like this okay the higher it goes the better to short it okay so don't join a buy or a sell right now wait for this it means the chf it may gain a little bit of strength first before it falls really fast again okay so we're waiting for some kind of formation like this this to continue going up once it reach close to here either that level which is the first dot line or the second one from here we're going to be looking to take a sell right there okay so this sell will be something like australian chf new zealand chf will be the best to buy but possibly it may be at the middle of the week or something guys okay just to give you a hint how to trade what currencies and stuff Thank you guys also remember we discussed this channel the same like the bound channel we said this need to come down as a correction wave right just like there so with the upward the channel you want only to buy dips okay you never buy breakouts so if this will break to the upside don't buy it it's too bad this most likely is going to be a, a fake breakout okay you never buy break the top of the channel it's very risky you want to sell the tops in the uptrend with careful because this is a correction okay in uptrend this is a correction this is a correction this is a correction this is a correction okay trading corrections a little bit risky okay so usually you want to filter what you want to do you want to take this buy okay you want to take this buy you want to take this buy you want to take you know possibly catch this buy a smaller time frame and definitely you want to think about taking this buy right here which is going to happen soon okay so that was a correction if you join the correction you need to be very careful there was a clear divergence right here you guys you can see this one we, are, we like to spot the, the the divergence for our time frame because they're one of the strong things you can ever get see where the price is going up the macd is going low so the, so the price pay is going up but really momentum in the macd you're gonna find is going low and volume so basically market makers are pushing the price high to get you in a buy but suddenly they will just to drop it okay so you will be stuck in this position thinking this is going to continue going up but the macd is showing what they're doing so please be careful when the price is pushing higher but the macd is going lower and you do have a divergence it's not really good to trade okay where this one was beautiful one because that was an up move you get a small correction start going back up that was really nice up and move so we're giving you indication about possibly what could happen right now what could happen if this will continue going down a little bit then start taking a little bit of time just to come close to this one this is the same scenario right here okay so we're expecting the same scenario right there to happen okay after this will happen right there then you're gonna start getting a new wave just like this okay like that this will be a beautiful wave to take to the upside okay guys that will be a beautiful wave we're gonna go up we're gonna break the stop okay so JPY down then up this is the forecast what does this mean don't sell any JPY pairs anymore wait to take the next buy Australia in the same scenario okay we were just moving in a trend right here upward the channel right we came close to the end and we said never buy the top of the channel so you never buy this you never buy this you never buy the top of the channel you never buy this this is and when you sell it you sell it was was careful okay and this is what price did push a little bit higher it's not a divergence it's hidden but uh, the price did push higher okay but we were expecting this fall as a stock market correction so we discussed this one we were expecting the dollar to be strong and the stock market to do correction i think this correction is just going to come a little bit farther take a little bit more time and there's going to be a beautiful buy guys okay so we're looking to t to have something like this okay you can take a screenshot of this and see what happened in the next two weeks okay the next one is going to be the new zealand it's just the same scenario guys so no need to discuss much it's just going to expect an up move okay the next one is canadian the same way no much to talk so a little bit of falling to get to the zero level here just like this then a beautiful buy so we're going to be looking to buy a canadian maybe by tuesday or something uh, that's the crude oil i think you guys we discussed this in one of the videos that's an upward channel and we said also in the weekly forecast don't jump and buy this one because this that's it very close to the top we don't want to buy tops you guys it's very easy repeating itself every single time see you don't want to buy tops this mistake mistake 
Let's take all these are mistakes, okay? You want to think about buying lows right, these, right here, okay? Every time you have a low, bounce from the top, coming down, it's possibly a good uh, buy right there. If this did come here, but it didn't, okay, right there. What? Okay, what's next here? You have two choices, okay? Not three. It's either gonna bounce from here to 65, which is I do expect our next target is 65, or it's gonna come a little bit lower to here, this to this area, okay, and bounce back from here. Okay, guys, that would be even better. Why is this area exactly? Okay, because right here, this used to be a very strong resistance, and it was tested per pep right here. So the worst case scenario, it will come all the way down to test to the same level here, here, here. We do expect it to hold, which is the 58 level. Okay, guys, then from here, it's going to bounce 65 and it's going to be a beautiful run. So that's a very clear technical analysis. There is no secret in this one. Okay, guys, we are focused a little bit more about education. So Bitcoin, guys, we said this need to come down to test 42 is crushing right now, guys, if you trade the weekend. Of, okay, we said we need to come to, you know what, this is going to 34. Okay, just to let you guys know, my forecast is. 42 after 42 correction then 34 just to let you know this big bubble of bitcoin is just exploding right now and i did explain this in details and i'm gonna explain it again why you guys you can see don't forget technical analysis i said never forget technical analysis this is a high right which is right there okay and that's another high right agree yes agree okay look at here the price is going up so price p is going up like crazy what about macd bang is just the same level or a little bit uh, less so the macd is going low so where the market makers are pushing the price higher to get you in and get more buyers in they're actually uh, not more buyers in heavy ones no more volume and momentum going up so it was very clear indication that trend is getting exhausted losing momentum and it's gonna reverse so that's why i said told you guys last week you need to book your profit and get out possibly starting a sell. I have bought three analysis in trading view live ones. You guys can follow us in trading view and we said this is need to come to 42. Okay. And also uh, surprisingly, I bought a buy signal for this one yesterday. Then after this, we expect it to come down. So the next target in the Bitcoin guys to remember this, I believe 42. Then after the 42 is going to come to 34. And from there, I think it's going to bounce back. Okay. And that's technically going good because you can see this MACD need to do further, further down, down, down. This area, when it comes to here, I think this is going to be a, around the 34. Of course, the plus or minus, I cannot give you exact number per pep or per point, but around this number, a little bit plus, a little, but anyway, this is going down further, still need to come further down, okay? Uh, it can come to 29, to 30, 32, you know, come to 39, whatever number is going to come, but this need to dip further down, something like this here, see that? It need to come down here. After this, when you start going back up, we can discuss taking a longer position, okay? And I don't think this longer position is gonna go break this high, it's gonna be even lower. So if it if it does dip to here, okay, something like this, then this right here, the next wave I think is just gonna be something like this, only come to here, close to 50, then dip again for now, okay? So that's possibly what we can see in the Bitcoin, guys, okay? Sorry if take too long in the Bitcoin, if you guys into it or not. Uh, DAX, I think this is good opportunity to buy, guys, not good opportunity to sell. So DAX only a buy, you can see is going in a channel, okay? So we'll discuss the channel. This is close to the lower band of the channel and it didn't crash so bad as the US stock last week. So really, I think DAX is good investment and my forecast, we're gonna go 16,000 this year, okay? You know, close to, but 16,000 is a potential target in the DAX uh, this year. Uh, SBX has just made a beautiful correction to the downside. I think this fall is a good opportunity to buy. Uh, that was kind of you guys see it right here that was here here so this correction i think is just again about to end soon and after this we're going to take a beautiful buy okay right here so that will be a beautiful one i think i put one of the forecasts 3700 it did come very close to 3700 here so that was perfect okay uh, the dow also we discussed a fall last week but it did make a new high first then it did fall so the forecast was kind of halfway okay okay and our signals we were able to catch this one then we did sell here but actually we did buy here early a little bit so i'm stuck a little bit in a buy but i think this is going to continue going up right here and we're going to go to 32,500 soon okay so every day in the day was a buy for me see guys this that was a buy okay
So take only by signals in the down. Uh, Nasdaq technical analysis. I think you guys do remember when we said this is coming down from here. Correction need to come here. Uh, see, it did break like this one. Was this a good to short? No, no, that was a good to buy. Why in this case? See that we were saying Nasdaq may correct 13,400 from the top right here. It did go even lower to 12,600. And the reason the Nasdaq did crash so bad and the SPX and the Dow, they didn't. Okay, guys, why? Because the banks are making profit and they are good. And SBX and the Dow, they do have banks companies, okay? So the banks company were holding the profit. So that's why the SBX and the Dow didn't crash so bad. Where the NASDAQ doesn't have banks and all the tech companies were having a little bit of problems like Apple and Tesla. So that's why the NASDAQ did crash so bad. But every single low in the NASDAQ is beautiful to long it. It's not beautiful to sell it. It's beautiful to take a buy position. I think this is going to go either from here or a little bit lower, but this is going to go back up and it's going to make a new high. So be careful from this one, the future to the tech companies. So every low is good. Okay, guys. So that was a profit taken at, you know, January, February, March. So one, two, three quarter of the year. So they need to take profit. That's it. So they sell their stock. Very normal stuff. Okay. The next one is the gold. Gold did this crash so bad. Thank God, last week we told you guys trade small, uh, small frame size and take uh, breakouts. So that was good. We were not uh, very confirm about one direction or the other. What happened is the bonds were sold off. So the yields did go up. When the yields and the bonds, 10 year bonds go up, they did go to 1.65. And the same time the dollar index was going up. So the gold was under pressure so big time, as you can see right here. Okay. So what we do expect next, there's two scenarios. If the dollar index starts reversing down from here, then of course the gold is gonna go up, okay, which is good. Uh, the second one, if the dollar index will continue going up a little bit and the yields in the bond will reach 2%, which is about 1.65 right now, then we may be dip into uh, 1,700 guys in the gold, okay? So if I give you the two scenarios, the first one, we're gonna go up from here or we're gonna come down. Either way, even if we come down 17, uh, we're gonna continue going up. Uh, the big banks guys did change the forecast for the gold from 2,300 this year. They did drop the forecast to 2,000, but they're still bullish. They're still bullish in the uh, gold. They are not uh, bearish, okay? So the big banks is still forecasting a 2,000 level this year, okay? Just to give you an idea. Uh, you can also, in the MACD, it's very clear now, it was just down moving the MACD very clearly written. So once you start to get an intersection right there, okay, a bounce from here in the MACD, given momentum to the upside will be a buy. If you want to scalp small lot size, taking a buy from here, it's probably a good idea, okay? Use DCHF, I think that was a clear head and shoulder. We discussed this one, guys, in, the, in one of the analysis, okay, like this, classic. Okay, and we said we do expect to come all the way down here. Look at this, beautiful. Right? It did even make it double uh, twice. Okay? So what we expect next, we expect this to come down from here all the way down or from a little bit higher price. Okay, just to be careful. But the next move we do expect in the USDCH, F is down, not up. Okay, uh, bound dollar, that was also the same scenario, guys, right here. That was an up channel, right? And we said it's the same scenario. We don't we like the bound exactly. We said don't buy this one. We expect this to fall, and that was falling really nice over 200 bips. Every time it comes to the top, you don't wanna uh, buy it. That was a mistake. You only want to take a buy from a lower price. Uh, right here, don't sell anymore. I think this is gonna reverse the upside either from this area or maximum from here. So you can see have this one. So next move is we're waiting for up wave, not down. Okay, guys. Uh, Euro, I think you guys were aware that we were expecting this down move from here and we said this is a very strong It did go up to test this area same level than it did crash so far What we do expect uh, right now is up wave guys no more down. Okay, so right now is an up wave that was very clear Use the GPY. This is just gonna move slow. So I think it's gonna come down then go back up USD Cal, I think you guys do remember from last week, we said we do expect an up move. This is advancing gravity band, one of our uh, great systems. It's good for uh, knowing your uh, up ranges where you actually need to kind of watch it 
once you re once you reach up here you need to get out okay uh, my forecast for this one we may get something like this then down uh, anyway we're looking for a down move in the usd cat guys no more up if you do remember we said 1.25 is our uh, take profit and last week i said i'm no longer selling usd cat i'm just buying that was a big strong move congratulations for you guys Australian USD, I think you guys were aware we discussed this one is gonna come fall with the stock market. Okay, so also we have made a separate analysis right here. We said Australian USD possible a wave down, and we have made this also up copy trading system 2021. Download our system, cost $249 per year. You get all the trading systems. What we do expect you guys you can see the trading system is amazing, giving you a buy signal right here. You catch it, then once you get this sell signal, you get out. See how much pips is this one is amazing. This one to the top 200 to here 150 pips. So really is amazing. Okay, you make the profit. You make the cost in one trade. So right now that was also amazing trade. You take from our system. What we do expect next, guys? Just one move like this, one move, then start going back up. So there is no more selling in Australian USD. So don't sell anymore. Even if it's gonna go farther down, don't sell it. That's it. You take profit, you wait to take a buy signal. Uh, the second one, your Australian, uh, that was a, a good move to the upside right here. Okay, guys, that was really nice move, followed by a strong up move. That's for our time frame. If you guys want to trade, the, of course, you trade down our time frame. See that how it looks like. It's really easy to trade with our trading system, guys. I really recommend you guys to download it. See, that was a beautiful signal. That was a beautiful signal. See, the system is giving you a really nice signal. Okay, once you get here, okay, then it did give you a buy signal. You take this cross and buy signal right here. That that was a beautiful run. Beautiful, beautiful run. Okay. 320 bips. Get out now. Why? Because we do expect this to can start coming down right here. Okay. Coming down all the way here to break this low and go even further. Okay. Uh, this is not done yet. What does this mean? It may spend a little bit of time here first. So basically what you can see is you make a channel like this and the price will continue going up and down up and down trying to uh, accumulate accumulate more uh, more sellers okay or distribution for the buyers then once it's, they do have enough orders of a buy okay they will take you down okay so they get you on a loss so please be careful from this what's gonna happen probably something like this you know this is this is the move and that's a loss and that's the second move Canadian Japanese yen we do expect the next wave to be to the upside okay this is getting a little bit long guys but I hope this is more educational that was a very clear so we need to continue down a little bit this down either is gonna be down or it's gonna be sideways what does this mean is something like this so gaining just the time to accumulate more orders then from here it's gonna go back up so right here you can see the MACD that's how it's gonna look like then from here we we'll think about taking a buy going up here breaking this high see we're gonna break this high we're gonna go to 86 guys okay so watch out this one the second one is bound japanese yen uh, this is we're gonna only start thinking about taking a buy guys okay there's no more sales so this may come down a little bit like this and then start going up i'll be interested to take a buy no more sell getting back to the 150 or a little bit less it depends uh, but bound yen is very correlated to bound dollar so if you trade one of them uh, avoid trading the other one they move the same way okay Australian Japanese is the same scenario you can look right here that was a very strong clear top it did break here it did break here that's one hour time frame our upco trading system it did give you a beautiful buy signal all the way it did give you a beautiful sell, sell signal so you guys from here you came down so what's gonna happen this is gonna continue down a little bit then from here we're gonna start taking a buy no more sales going back to break this high and make a new high right here okay uh, so please get out of this one wait just a side movement to accumulate more orders right here making a double bottom or something or terrible bottom or three drives to the down or head and shoulder inverse head and shoulder then from here we're gonna be looking to take a buy to the upside hitting 200 bips straight okay uh, second one euro new zealand just the same scenario like uh, euro uh, australian that was a correction wave in an uptrend it's not finished it's not finished yet what does this mean it may just make like a 
uh, end in diagonal or something right here like this and then from here it's going to start falling so i'll be interested only and also that's a trend line so i'll be only interested to take a sell on this one with a signal eurocad is the same scenario uh, so uh, new zealand japanese yen is the same scenario like australian new zealand dollar just the same scenario bound new zealand uh, if you guys do remember we bought this one we're expecting this down wave it was really nice see the accumulation i'm discussing guys this was accumulation see right here they're accumulating more orders so most likely they were getting you to get in a sell, but actually they're preparing the market to go to the upside, break into the upside, okay? Uh, what do you expect now? One up wave to test this line then right here. It's gonna be a little bit complex. Uh, bound Australian, I think we can get an, an, a down wave this one. We can catch down wave in a small time frame. Uh, just to trade 15, time frame, 15 minute time frame, get like 100 pips and get out, okay? And then after that is the bound Canadian. Uh, bound Canadian, I think we're gonna continue going up a little bit to test this one. Then from here we can come down. Uh, bound Japanese yen, this is gonna be only a buy for me. It's not a sell. We discussed sell last week. Now we're looking only to take a buy with a signal. Bitcoin, uh, that's from the weekly analysis. We discussed this one. We said before. I know we talked about the Bitcoin before. So the target is 34 long target as long as we are uh, below this trend line right here. So that's the forecast, guys. Australia, New Zealand. Uh, we can see this one uh, it's technical analysis uh, one of our uh, audience did ask about it so we did draw this chart technically and you can see it's still falling and you can see where the target is located that's first target second target third target from here you do expect a reverse please guys if you do like to join our trading system and service and vip signals join our signal at vi uh, the vip signal at fx mark strategy also, if you would have any question, uh, uh, just text us uh, in Telegram, FX Market Strategy Admin. Uh, thank you guys and have a great day.